I published it this week. I got it. It's finished. It's there. It's done. Mere Theology. $10. Well, nine ninety nine for those of you in Reed Rapids who, who don't know that a $10 price tag is or, or $9.99. You know, that... But it's there. I, I mean, I, I mean, it's over ninety thousand words, and I am just exhausted, and I'm refocusing and shifting everything. I, you know, I had interesting uh, conversations this week with a number of different people. You know, it, we need, we, re- I really think it's a good idea for everyone to have a profit potential hobby, a, a side business, a side project, something that you do that's yours, that you own. It's your artwork. It's your craft. It's it's not just a hobby that wastes time, but it's something that you share with the world. It's something that, um, I, I mean, I, I I think that it it should have the power to lead to something that makes money. It doesn't have to be. Doesn't need to be your goal, but it, it should be able to lead there at at any rate. I mean, I mean, even if, like let's say that you're uh the right you know the radio. Uh, the, 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 the technician's license, a ham radio. Yeah. If you had a ham radio license and you do ham radio stuff after several years, uh, you, you might, uh, be able to be brought on as a consultant for someone, or you might be able to write a book on him. I don't know. Just whatever he, Solomon said, whatever your hands find to do here, he talked to you just do stuff, do a good job, teach yourself stuff, learn stuff. Um, I, uh, sh- no, I don't want to say much about it. Um, but no, 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 George, you're not going to get me to, no, no, I'm, I'm not, some things, conversations are going to remain private. It's, it's how, it, how it's going to be, George. I'm not, I, I discuss it with you, but you're not, uh, you know, you're not the, you're not everybody listening. I mean, you, if, if you're talking to me or you're listening to me, you want to talk to me. I'm not going to take our conversation and go tell everybody about it. I'm not. Um, if you get in an argument with me, it's going to... Uh, I'm going to have stuff to talk about in you know the week. But I'm not going to talk about you and I'm not going to talk about your details. I'm not going to do it. Even though I have those types of conversations. But I will say this. <clears throat> rattling empty paper like I have something to read off of because that's how marketing works. We have lots and lots of people in this world who don't want to learn anything. They don't want to listen. And it's really tough to deal with people that don't want to listen. It is. It is. But the more we teach ourselves, the easier it is for knowledgeable people to work with us. Write that down. The more we teach ourselves, the easier it is for talented people to work with us. Um, I've got something here in the pile that's been sort of on my mind this week that I'm going to get to. Many young people. Have you ever... Tell, tell me. Well, you don't have to look at me. Just give me your ear. You know, many... I'm seeing this in young people. And I think that it's happening more and more and more. They disagree with old people. And then they go sabotage their own lives rather than get smart. I mean, it tells me that their problems as a kid, it was not that old people wouldn't listen to them, but that they just didn't want to listen. I mean, their dad probably thought, well, I don't see why he's unhappy. Well, that and that should be the end of it, right? If you don't see why someone else is unhappy, then they should just be happy because your decision about how they should feel is how they should feel, right? Right. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, what you call an indicator of a train wrecked uh, family relationship. So I, I, I see this so often. Young people, well, dad just doesn't listen to me. Dad just doesn't, he doesn't understand. Yeah, well, maybe you don't have anything worth saying either. You know, I, I used to believe that. I used to really believe that when when my friends, my peers, people younger than me, young people, I really used to believe that when they'd say, when younger people would say, they just don't understand me. 
that if someone understood them, listened to them, gave them meaningful feedback, I, you know, listen to them. Okay, you're right. I'll change something if I need to, which is most of the time. I'm taking that into account. I'm also taking into account tidal gravity, uh, basic laws of inertia. The sun comes up and goes down every day. I'm taking in a lot of constants also, but I'm also taking what you say into account and I'm revamping my worldview because you talk to me. I'm listening now. Okay, here's my conclusion. Oh, no, don't want to hear it. And I'm seeing that. Listening does not always make people want to listen back. It doesn't. And we're seeing that all over this generation. Now, some people, it does. There are people that if someone would just listen to them, it'd make all the difference in the world. But I'm seeing that there's a lot of people that no matter how much you listen, the reason they don't listen is because they don't want to hear what you would say. Whether you're, whether you're right or wrong, whether I'm right or wrong, whether he is right or wrong, when someone doesn't want to listen, it isn't just that they don't like listening. It's they, they, they don't want to hear what would be said. Now, rather than just complaining and whining about this, because I don't like to just complain and whine about things. Uh, I mean, that, that's an important observation to make. That what's, okay, by conclusion in this, the, the beneficial side of this, why is this useful to talk about rather than just complain? Know it. Identify it. Quickly seek to identify. When someone wants to just talk to you, Someone wants to have a conversation. You need to know what, what the conversation is about. You need to know what the purpose is. So what's the purpose of us talking? If, if someone makes unilateral demands with me, I'm, I've said, I'm done. I'm, I'm not going to be someone who's going to sit here just so I can be on the other side of your stone wall. I, I don't, I don't. Stonewalling is the way to recognize a marriage that's headed for a train wreck within minutes. A stonewalling is a way to identify a company that's headed for anything headed for a train wreck. Stonewalling. That's when people no longer want to listen. Identify it and know it. And when you see people that really don't want to hear what the other guy has to say, get away as fast as you can. End those relationships. You don't have to burn the relationship, but just focus on something else. He wants to call. Be really nice. Hi, what do you want to talk about? That's what we're going to talk about. You want to talk about football? We'll talk about football. If I have time, anyway, I don't like to talk about football. I like to talk about golf uh, to some extent. Know what you're doing. Know who the people in your life are that want to talk about this or that and stick to it. Don't. Do not. Do not. Get involved in conversations when everyone pretends that they want to listen, but they really don't. Someone says, I'm hurting, this bothers me. If, if, you, if you help him, does he want it? Or does he just want to do what he wants to do and he's hoping you're going to sit there and hmm and ha and agree with him so he can feel better about the decision he knows is bad? Is that what's going on? Whatever is happening, don't, don't take this from people. Don't take it. You don't have to be angry. Nice. Hi. Love, love you. Great. Bye. But um, this is what I think. And, uh, uh, you know, do you want my opinion? Do you want my feedback? I'm going to give it to you. I get, I'll tell, you know what? I think that you've heard what I have to say, and it's time for me to get to my point. Or the point, for those of you in Read Rapids. Pain doesn't go away by focusing on it. Pain is a symptom, not a problem. Most problems need time and the body needs strength. Focusing on our pain makes us weaker. Then the problem grows, the pain worsens. And if we don't get wise to the cycle, the cycle will snowball into self-pity. As much as we'd like to think so, other people have much bigger problems than we do. They need us to put their problems ahead of our own. In fact, as we help others, we might stay away from our own cycles of self-pity. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.